YouTube channel. Today in this session, we are going to see how can we set up IntelliJ IDE in Mac OS, how can we download IntelliJ, how can we install it and how can we add plugins to IntelliJ, okay, like Sonar, Lint or uh, Cucumber or Kirkins, okay, we'll see. Okay, so let's get started. So what is IntelliJ? So IntelliJ IDE is a closed platform IDE. So IDE is something like integrated development environment. So in the IDE, like uh, what we can do, we can perform different type of operations, operations at one place only. Like if you want uh, to perform some Git operations like pull the code, clone the code, push the code, commit the code. Okay. And if you want to use the terminal itself, if you want some support from the programming languages like Java, JavaScript, Python or something. Okay. So at one place only, these IDEs are very, very helpful. And IntelliJ is one of the very, very powerful IDE, which you can work with when you're working with Java. Okay. Now, how can you download IntelliJ? You just go to any of your browser, for the new tab, download IntelliJ. Okay, open the first link from the JetPrince. Like this IntelliJ IDE has been developed by the JetPrince team. Okay, now if you have the license for IntelliJ, then you can definitely go for this ultimate version. Otherwise, you can go for this community edition. Okay, I'm downloading this for the Mac OS. Okay, and also there are two types of uh, like Mac comes with two types of OS like it comes with Intel and it comes with Apple Silicon. I have Apple Silicon with me. So I'm going to select the store DMG and I'm just click like the download will, just, will get started. Okay. So let's just wait like yeah. <clears throat> already 260 280 has been completed after download like once the download is completed then how can we install intellij so we have downloaded that dot dmg file for this intellij right because we are working with this mac os and that also with a silicon chip okay we just need to open that file the setup wizard will come and we have just we just have to install with the default settings okay <clears throat> Let's just have a look 729, 743. Okay. It won't take more than sec 10 seconds. Great. <clears throat> okay. The file has been downloaded for us. So you open this file by just doing uh, double click on it. Okay. Drag it and uh, drag and drop it to the applications folder. In my case, <clears throat> basically, I already have Intelli IntelliJ IDE with me. Okay. In my machine. So let me just open it. IntelliJ IDE. This is the community version 2022.3. Okay. I have these many projects already. But in your case, uh, when you do not have, when you are going to install this IntelliJ for the very first time, okay, you'll have this plugin section. Okay. Now, there are some plugins like uh, which I am working with. So when you are successfully done with the installation, you can open the IntelliJ IDE, go to the plugin section. So here is the plugin section. Search for a plugin. How will we be able to like how will how can we make the search for any plugin? Suppose you want to work with Cucumber. You search here. This is a text box. You type Cucumber here. Okay. Then you'll get the options for Cucumber. See this Cucumber for Java. This is a plugin name. This already has a downloads of 1.4 M. Okay, and why is it not giving me the option to install? Like other than this first one, I have the option for install, right? Because this one is already added in my IntelliJ IDE. Okay, I have listed down some of the uh, plugins here. Like you can work with the Sonarlint if you search here. Okay, this has been already downloaded in my case. You can go for the Maven helper. You can go with the rainbow bracket. Like these are different plugins basically. Okay, you can go and just add them and Cucumber for Java is you already seen and Karkin. Okay, I already have this uh, plugin added with me. Okay, so this is how you can get started. And if you want to create a new project, you just click on new project button. Then you name the project. You can select the location here. What type of language you want to go with? Like is it Java, Kotlin or something? Okay, and what is the build system? You can select Maven and you can select the JDK which version of Java JDK you want to go with for this project. Okay. Okay. So that's all for this session. <clears throat> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
thank you for your time have a very good day